The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman on this Friday, the 16th of February, and we're looking at the uh, Dow's down 115 at 38,662. Not a big deal. You can see I drew in, oh, weeks ago, I drew in this rectangle, and I said, I think we're going to be trading more or less within this uh, the confines of that. We have long positions from way back at 2020 in the Dow and tw at uh, March of 2020 at the low, the exact day of the low. We have also the exact day of the low of 2022 from that October low. Uh, we have the Dow Diamonds and the UDOW, but on a short-term basis as a kind of insurance because of this toppiness that I'm looking at here, um, we do have uh, the DOG. So that's a small position in the DOG, one-to-one -one short the Dow. That's the only short position we have. And let me just run this through because I think this is... It, it, let me just read to you what I said to subscribers today to my opening call. I said, Friday, Trader's Corner. It's called Trader's Corner. That's the part that I always show the Dow chart with the whole analysis there. Where I, in this case, I'd uh, shown that there was a Morabozo candle in the Dow. That's a big, long candle, either green or red with no, no wicks. I, I treat it as a Morabozo candle, even if there's just a fraction of a wick on one of the sides. And that's what happened with the Dow yesterday. And what happens next is really important. All right, so what I said is, uh, again, other than our DOG insurance, the portfolio did well. That's all our positions did very nicely. Uh, the SMH semis are mimicking a blow-off top, especially with so many round numbers. Maybe NVIDIA's earnings next week, that's this coming Wednesday, the 21st, I believe it is. Oh, and I, I have a play that afternoon. I'm going to miss everything that afternoon. God. Anyway, um, uh, it just happens to be that often anyway. Um, NVIDIA's earnings next week. And then I say, and Mega 7 for a bout of profititis. And that's going to be really important. At this particular point, you can tell that folks are taking profits in the uh, semiconductors. And I, I have to admit, I'm guilty. I had all the signals ready, a buy signal, instead of looking at shorting the, S, the semis. When you th actually anticipate there's a chance that you're getting it, this is not an exact blow off top, but it has all the all the inklings, all the all the kind of not everything, but it ha because we don't have very low priced uh, like um, uh, when Coinbase was very low and you looked at the uh, and what was it Mara, all these different symbols um, in uh, ETH -E, Ethereum and Coinbase was skyrocketing that was back in what was that november december of uh, quite a few years back going to the all-time highs um you had these low priced and you had the very high price going to crazy levels so in the semiconductors it's not a blow off top in that sense because you don't have people just grabbing a, a three dollar stock and in an hour they, they've taken a 50 percent gain that's kind of the blow off like in in 2000 so this is a little different this is part of a topping phase. So I think it's going to take all of 2024. If my weekly charts are right in the down now, is only in leg B. And the S&P on a weekly basis is only in, <clears throat> oops, that's I think also leg B. Let me, I, did I type in the wrong place? No, I typed in the wrong place. Darn. I typed right on my chart. Um, yeah, also in leg B. So to go back to what we were looking at, let me find out where I uh, typed in and over there. So let me get, click. And go control Z. Yep, I'm back to normal. Um, and then I went on to say Microsoft has already uh, started its consolidation. Look at that. It's down uh, $2 at 404. We were very lucky. We've been long and had different trading positions, et cetera, from 338. And in the 420, just over 420, we took uh, another little bit off, almost within pennies of the all time high. And I think that's really what you've got to be thinking of right now. So that just says, those are profits. That's not getting out of long positions. So in the semiconductor, 
just having along and sitting back and using this particular technique here. I mean, I'm embarrassed. I talk about the technique over and over and over. I never used it yet. Even now, I'm not using it. So there's the down sharp. But look, here's the SMHs. <clears throat> Let's look at the one on the right. That's just using two lines. That's the green lines, a nine period moving average, and the black line, 14 period moving average. And look where the price is. It's starting to show a little toppy action right here. Um, <laughs> But, and the on-balance volume has already given a turn down from the, just before the uh, all-time high on the 9th of February. And the next day, the all-time high was 207.12. Uh, today, we've gone to 206.08. And uh, so using this, all I had to do was say, hey, let's just hold you. We've been out for one day over here and got back in. Let's just hold the SMHs. Ho oh, oh, we can go off and go uh, luxury cruise or whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to worry until you start to see the green go pink. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking there is a rollover occurring, and I'm going to get to that in the show. But in the meantime, I want to just tell you what I was looking at. I'm anticipating profititis coming in very soon because what's happening now when people get out, it's almost like they – emotionally, you know, I, I, I've i done it. I'm sure many of you have done it. You got really good profits. And then instead of just going off to play tennis or golf or whatever it is, you, you land up, oh, you got to do another one and another one. And, and you'd keep doing it until all of a sudden you're getting in and getting out quicker and quicker. And now you're losing money. We haven't got to that stage yet. We're very close, in my opinion, we are very close to getting that in the semiconductors. And as I say, longer term, I mean, let me just get to this because I need to do this before I forget. I'm just going to do this for my own work. You can't see it. All I'm doing is taking my newsletter, just preparing it so that I don't make a silly mistake again. I almost did it over here. There it is. Okay. So now what am I looking at? I'm looking at in the semiconductors, SMH. Look where we are on the weekly chart. We are in a leg E. And that leg E says, whoops, um, all the technicals are great. The monthly is still only in a leg C. It means you still have to have higher highs. But I suspect that we are looking at some kind of a consolidation. And I'll, I'll draw this in now. I'll make a refinement over the weekend. But I'll draw it in the weekly chart. Yeah, I can go a little higher because uh, NVIDIA's earnings next week. So we can go up to, say, 210. And then I'm going to say, and look at this. If you do the most, I'll do a fairly conservative consolidation. Um, I'm going to do two. One's inside, one's outside. And the inside one says, wow, you get back to three weeks ago where the low was back at the 180 level and you're at 202. That's a 10% that's, that's correction, right? Um, no, I think you go down a little bit more into the 170s. And then I think we might start it all over. And it depends where we end up when you're in this phase. Now, I, I need to finish other things and I'm going to get to this. So the QQQ is trading right now down 3.5 at 431. It hasn't taken out the 439.14 high of uh, five sessions ago. The IWM um, money is coming into the small caps, but it's it, it's coming in. In a, it's kind of fluctuating, and I like I like the IWM. Uh, there are a couple of others in it. IWB is the 1,000. IWB is the Russell 1,000. Look at that. Look at that uh, five days ago, holding very nice 275. Only in the league, the in week chart. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Dow's only down 54 right now. This is down 7. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I got interrupted by for one second by someone who keeps texting me saying egg on your face, egg on I don't know what they're talking about, egg on my face. I mean, we've done really well. We've got some lovely positions. Uh, I'm not complaining. I haven't heard anyone complaining about anything here. So I'm not quite sure. And, and Kathy Wood, I don't know what the relationship is, but ARK, A R K K, um, this is going to do really well this year. But at this particular point, it is still a work in progress. It's down very nicely. It's down 72 cents at 50.91. This is A R K K, A R K Innovation ETF. Uh, what a fabulous move off the 30s. It's now in the 50s. I think it will correct itself. Now, as far as timing is concerned, I've spoken about this for years now. Kathy Wood is probably, I don't know how she's still in business. Any other fund manager, maybe she owns the business, but any other fund manager would have been bounced by now. She bought, I mean, she saw 80 and 90% losses in some stocks. I don't care if you have a five-year projection. Uh, anybody can have a five-year projection um, because after five years, people have already forgotten what you were supposed to be doing unless you own the, the 80 or 90 percent loser. But she will be right, and this will be a position for us at some point, ALKK. I'm actually upset I'm not in it right now. From a lower level, we have once before. We'll do it again. But uh, I'm watching this closely. ALKK fits in that small cap sector when we start to rotate, when the semis, which will have a consolidation. Don't think this goes up forever. They do not go up forever. Okay, that's number one. Now I've got delayed. So I said I was going to go through all these things I wrote down. Very often, I, I, every day, I write down what I'm going to do because of the nature of what I, of my nature. Um, I, I, I can get, I like to do whatever is current right there at that very moment. I want to be relevant to the moment so I can forget about reading, looking down just at the page to get back. But I am now. I, I was determined to do that. So let's do this. So we're looking at gold and gold is trading now. It's up to the gold is in a right in a position that 200 period moving average, which it broke under 2024. 
it's almost like a magnet. It wants to hang around there. I don't see it breaking to the upside into the 2060 level unless there's just something that um, initiates, that just triggers that, that, that flush in. And it might be that the Bitcoin, BTC, starts to decline. It's still only in leg C. It should go to a peak D. So I'm thinking this coming week, next week, is going to be really important as we get into the, the, the latter part of February. And I want to see where we close at the end of February in all these really important indexes. So that, that would include IWM, the Russell 2000, that would include ARKK, that innovation fund, that would include Bitcoin, that would include gold, <coughs> excuse me, that would include high-grade copper, which is adding a fabulous session. We spoke about it yesterday. I said to get that pink nine-period moving average to cross positive, you're going to have to have a really good move towards the 200-period moving average of 3.82. And where are we right now? We're at 3.84. 3 um, that is really good action. Now, that is copper. And copper, if you put it together with HGX, which is the um, Philadelphia Housing Sector Index, which is still holding well, even with the all the news that, that you know, the Fed might not be lowering rates because uh, the, all these inflationary figures keep coming out. You know, the one thing that I heard yesterday that I thought to me has always over the years been really, really important is that when I hear that the job switch is slowing down, people only change jobs when it's when it's a win-win, where it's a situation where they're out of their job because they've had enough, they're going to get paid more, and they're getting into a new job which has a lot better whatever it is. It could be conditions, it could be it's just whatever it is. And the other thing is, that to me is a sign to say that's slowing down finally, and that was happening in, uh, to a large extent throughout last year. And um, now I think that's a change. Whoops, hello? Did I, oh, reconnecting. Oh. All right, reconnecting. What did I lose power? What's going on? Uh, uh, Al, is that you? Yeah. Um, so, Tiger Clock. Oh. Uh, you, I'm good to go. Okay. As long as I'm good to go, uh, I, I, what it says reconnecting, please wait. Um, just let me know. Uh, just text me on my phone because I, I, you know, test, test, one, one. No, it's, I've, I've lost power there. I can hear you. I can hear you talking, but I can't hear the show. I'm good to go. Okay. If you say I'm good to go, I'm good to go. Um, so within that context, uh, the switching, having the comfortability factor, which is really important to say, I'm going to switch because it's, it's a win-win for me. Um, and now people are slowing down. They're not doing the switching so much. Says to me that there are certain conditions that are creeping up very slowly. Let's say I'm looking at the weekly charts Uh, am I am I on? Okay, God, this is unbelievable. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm on in the den. Let me just check in the den. We hear you. Okay, it's it's terrible. You know, we have no way of knowing. I've, I lost sound, and I I should have it. Okay, good to go. So, the HGX index is holding so well. I mean, look at this. I'm going to show you the TOL, which is TOL, which is um, Toll Brothers Home Builders, and the, the conditions we are looking at now are so different to many times over the, the decades. What we're looking at here is that in any other uh, circumstance, you would say housing sector, I mean, that the, the way it moved up, uh, going to that December high, Toll Brothers, 105.91, had a couple of round numbers, and then pulled back quite sharply to 95, 10 points, or almost 10%, not a big deal. But the way these built, but that's to do with, the conditions, it's a housing shortage. Now, I love the idea of a housing shortage because what happens is when prices of houses go down, 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 people actually don't buy. They don't say, oh, great, now the prices are down, I can buy. What happens is they step back and they're afraid to buy and they're afraid to buy, usually correctly because prices keep going down. So this is so unusual. The, the whole economic structure is new. Now I want to just go back for a moment to the SMHs. I want to show you something. So you've got NVIDIA. NVIDIA trading at uh, up 
5.83 is 7.32. And what we're looking at is, look, three, four, four round numbers in about four or five sessions, right? I believe very strongly that as we go into March, we'll be looking back and say, wow, I'm not saying they have to crash. I'm saying they're going to come back. That's going to become a ceiling at some point. How it does that is really important. You don't want to get in front of it. You want to actually see it roll over. Look, the nine period moving average is strong. Look at that weekly chart possible. Doji candle right here in the leg F. Look at the on balance volume. But the stochastic is at 97%. That is fantastic in the weekly chart. 93% in the monthly chart. 98% uh, starting to weaken a little bit in the daily chart. Let's look at um, anything you want. Look, let's go to, I wrote them down, SMCI, SMCI. Now, overnight, I don't know if anybody noticed that how many of these semiconductors for the evening were stuck on round numbers. And even this morning, they were stuck on round numbers. So here is uh, S Super Microcomputers. Now, they have a lock on, on the semiconductors in the way that in the way that I think they get, they have licenses, whatever it is, they are really big beneficiaries. Look at that vertical move, only a leg C in the weekly chart, but look at that. Big red candle we're looking at today. I'll be back in a moment, and we had an 80, 865 round number low today. It's trading at 875. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So have a look at this. This is uh, SMCI, Supermicrocomputers, semis, uh, licensing, I believe. Anyway, 
In the last week and a half, they've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven round numbers. Round numbers, and today's round number was a low of 865. And it screamed up to a high of 1,077. I'm going to type this in, 1077. I mean, 1077.87. And uh, trading right now at 882, down 121. Uh, you know, something's happening here that I think is really important. I just didn't have the courage today to to get back into the SOXS because NVIDIA has, uh, has a lot of clout and it could drag things up to, uh, into... Wednesday of next week, we got three. It was four whole days. I mean, that was that was a big risk. Uh, but I, I want to do. I don't want to spend time on these things other than to go to one more thing, which is uh, applied materials earnings come out. Huge move up. Had 188.21 high. Let I me mean, just get rid of that because that's that's no good. And today's high is 206.77. Uh, no round numbers. No. It, usually the open at round no 202 open 0.02. Um, I'm, and that's a leg F and a leg E in the weekly charts. I'm just saying um, what's going to happen at some point, the only way they will come down is that they'll start talking about competition and videos competition. Uh, advanced micro devices is right there in terms of competition. Where is it today? It is down 245 at 174. Uh, let me just update this right now. There we go. So you've got any round numbers there? Uh, no round number yet, but it did have 179 round number high uh, about two weeks ago. 184.92 was the all-time high, and it's only in a peak B in the uh, weekly chart, and 171 low three days ago, and it's trading right now at 174. So I'm watching these, and I'm just saying something gives. All right, so we've got that out the way. Now I want you to just go to what I want you to do. Let me go right from the top. Number one on Friday, GE. GE, I didn't finish bonds. Uh, we spoke about it. Bonds, uh, the yields so far are, are still climbing. So uh, GE, for the first time in ages, I went through every single day. And I can tell you, round numbers don't just occur. They are there, and I always take note of them if I see them. I don't always see them. I should have a scan, and I don't have a scan for it. But look at this. Uh, GE, 149, 149 and was 0-0 just a moment ago. It's now 148.99. Um, it had a high of 149.90. That's an all-time high. It had a 147 round number. Was that low yesterday? Oh, it was the open, wasn't it? Yes, the open yesterday. And here it is at 149. I am watching these things. It's all over the show. Uh, Disney, I don't think it was round number. I want to look at Disney for another reason. So it snuck to a new uh, recovery high right at the 200 period exponential moving average. The weekly one yesterday was, so today... It's trading at 112.28. And I've been I've been talking about Disney and saying GE was the IBM. IBM was the turnaround that Microsoft and all those man, magnificent companies from the uh, 2000 era just collapsed and then had to reincarnate. They had to morph into something that was absolutely relevant, which Microsoft has done fantastically and, and some of the others. Cisco is the one that hasn't really done that. Uh, and I, then I spoke all of last year, I was talking about IBM. We don't own IBM. And I kept saying IBM is the one that's done it. And then I said GE was definitely the one that was doing it. The old Dow type stocks that are just coming back as newcomers, just uh, like in the infancy in a new phase is amazing. Disney, I think, is in that category. I think that everything's come together. And I think that Disney's looking way better. I'm not sure if it goes to two or three, the all time high. Uh, in 2024, but I think it has, it's right at the 200 period exponential moving average resistance in the weekly chart. Uh, the technicals are still pretty strong on, on rounds of volume is not overbought in the weekly, but it is on the daily. So there are things to watch and things that are really working at this particular time. Okay, I got that out the way. Um, natural gas, I got a question about natural gas. When do I think it'll make some kind of a bottom? So this is something that I spoke about. We have just done nothing with natural gas. We tried once or twice with the UNG, and then we just forgot about it. And uh, and the reason is, I said, I don't understand it. Um, but as far as I can tell, there is something that's going on in the natural gas arena, just as when oil 
for extraneous reasons. It really didn't have anything to do with oil. Remember the futures went down to minus 20, minus 40, I think it was. Um, but that was that was on a purely technical basis. It really had very little to do with crude oil in the sense that there was there wasn't. It's not like uh, the, there was a, there was a glut and therefore crude oil. There was so much. No, no, it was other things. I think natural gas is in that area, except the difference is from everything I've read. And what the irony of the whole thing is that I think with Biden, even though the talk is to cut back on oil, etc., we are exporting more than ever. And I think that the natural gas, uh, the, the, the uh, natural gas has been um, there. There might even be a, a glut, and that's really what we're looking at. So I've got a one-to-one, -one, and this is just the classic one-to-one -one that all the all the tech, all the great technicians here at TFNN talk about. I use it in a very different way. I use it in the Chapman wave falling axe formation. This is a little steep, and this is just a pure A to B equals C to D. Even though I've got the letters saying peak D is where you get tops, and that's exactly what you got back in January of 2024, up in the three-dollar area. And here it is at 1.601 uh, up. 0.02. So in this area is technically technically where you should get at least a bounce. But there's a big difference. Look where we are. We're in February. Here in Boston, we had this huge snowstorm last night with about a sixteenth of an inch of snow. It's just something's happened, but not throughout the country. The other parts are getting really bad, a bad winter. We're not. But the Northeast is a lot. I mean, that's a dense population. So we would be using heating oil. Let's look at heating oil just for a moment. Heating oil. Yeah, look, heating oil has been rising. Peak A, B, C, D, E. And now it's pulling back, but it's been rising. And, and this is complete. So there's something wrong with the contract. I just don't want to get that out the way that I think natural gas, if you're thinking of, I mean, winter's almost done, right? I mean, if you go to the stores, they're starting to have spring clothes. So, yeah, we've got the worst part still to come, March going to April. But really, the, the I don't know. It's going to have – think of it as a bounce. So if you're really looking at this, and they call UNG the widow maker or the widower maker, because every time you bought the natural gas, the United States natural gas fund, it just went lower and lower. And look at the stochastic – uh, you know how I talk about, oh, 98% and flat is fantastic. That's where you, if you're buying, if you're long, that's where you want it to be because that's fantastic. Eventually, it'll go down to 20%, but as long as it's holding. Well, this is at 2.94%, and it's been under 5% for a long time. So all I can say is that it'll have to be a spark. Some I shouldn't say spark when you're talking about natural gas. It'll have to be something that's integral to the to to the to the conditions that say now there's a little bit of a scarcity because you're not going to get a rally you know tom o'brien says you know uh, if people have a lot of product prices are not going to go higher the scarcity makes the products go higher price go higher well this is the same thing here in the uh, ung so all i can say is i would be really careful i'd rather play higher highs than lower lows so I'm saying at 14.93 in the UNG. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Just real quickly, so natural gas, I would want the UNG to, to really trade in the 16s. And then I'm going to say, oh, okay, now you can have further to the upside. But it's really, uh, the timing has to be perfect because you want to get the exact low so that you have a cushion that if it rallies, it doesn't come back and take you out. But if you get in at 16, now there's the problem. Does it keep coming back down? So all I can say is that um, it's trying to base right now. If you want to nibble at it, I don't see anything yet with a stochastic flat like that. It's going to be an overnight news event, and then it'll pop. And then I, I, I'm not going to give you advice on UNG. I'm just not. I, I, I've looked at it for every day, or not every day, almost every day for over a year and a half, and it's just been a horrible, horrible thing. Okay. Now, that's natural gas. So a question came in, I'm into QQQ, that's three times short the, um, I believe three times short the uh, Qs, and that, the uh, IWM, sorry, that's the NDX 100. Uh, what should I do? I'm just going to say to you, just in terms of money management, I would take a little bit off right now, but I keep the call. And this is, I, I need a 120 minute chart. We've still got a little while to go. But if, if it closes, on the 120 minute chart that I'm looking at right now, above 432 in this particular hour and a half, um, then what you want to look for after that, if at any point it holds for, I'd even say 30 minutes under 431.40, there's a real good chance it's gonna test today's low of 429.85. If it rallies further and it can get to 433.70, I think that for the day, most of the damage has already been done. That's why I'm saying take a little bit off, and then you're going to have to manage the trade. Um, next, so now, so we did that, we did that, we did that. Uh, okay, now I'm going to number four. Oh, EMR, EMR, I believe it's EMR. Yeah, this is Emerson Electric. So I wanted to mention this because it's really, uh, I like this, and it's Technical Friday. You see this huge gap in November when it was tootling along in the 91 area and then the next day it gaps down and it's in the 84s. Look at the way it methodically filled the gap. Remember the, the rule is with gaps, as my rule, sorry, I shouldn't say the rule, but my rule is that gaps, big gaps are important very near term and there's a whole way of looking at them. Smaller gaps um, on the way up very often get filled, but that shouldn't, it's like an icon, it's like a doji can, just treat it as another 
support level icon. That's all. But when it fills the gap, that's really important. It's telling you that whatever it was that took this thing sharply lower is now it's recovered. That was an, a, a one-off event. And if you see two or three of these in a row, just I wouldn't touch that stock for quite a while. It's just, <laughs> it means this, this is a, a company that just comes out with bad news. All right, but when it fills it up, look what happens. Then it comes back and tests it. It happens to be the 200 period moving average that was resistance. Now it's become support. And right there, it takes off again. Look at this huge gap, earnings probably. And you want to see in the in the huge gap, you want to see this is the, the scenario that I talk about. If it doesn't immediately take out the low, the gap low of that bar and starts to work its way towards the upper end, how it takes out the high is going to be important because it's raising the base to the bottom of the big candle, the body of the candle. So that means this Emerson Electric has 101 as really important support to hold. But so far, it's doing really nicely. In fact, it's gone to a very minor leg D today and a leg C in the weekly. I just want you to talk about gaps. So treat gaps with have a plan to understand that gaps have a whole bunch of connotations and don't lock it in your mind. Oh, there's a gap or a two gap pain or a three gap pain. Let the let this let the price movement tell you what's next. If you get a big and we've got a couple of very big gaps to the upside in the semiconductors, they don't have to fill it in today. They will fill at least the first the the, the upper one, maybe the upper two. But don't think it has to go down to the bottom. Just treat it as it rolls over. Look at your other indicators. In other words, treat it as background noise, just as a 200-period moving average is background noise until, bam, you hit it and you take off. All right. And uh, I said earlier today that in the uh, E-mini that the magnet line was right there at 5,037. That was the magnet line in the 200 period moving average. And look at it, it keeps coming back because it's 5,034 right now. That's your magnet line. All right, this is learning lesson day today, Friday the 16th. Then, then I went to number five, and number five is, if, if I can read it. Um, okay, I did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. Oh, I know what I want you to do. So look at this, C-R-A-K. There's something, uh, periodically I follow it and then I completely forget about it. It's called the Van Eck Oil Refiners ETF. You know, if you're talking oil, this today hit, I don't know if it's an all-time high, and I don't think it's an all-time high, but it's certainly a multi-year high. Oh, yeah, that's right. The last time, oh, oh, I love this. The last time that this hit a high was back in, October of 2018, it was a Chapman Wave 2-bar reversal with a peak D, I remember now, and it went to 37, uh, no, it went to 38, why am I having trouble reading it, 36, oh, there it is, 36.19. What's the high today? 36.57. Where has it been in the interim? It's been down to the 14s. How? How do I, I understand these uh, horizontal levels? But how do stocks and e ETFs and, and how do they come back to the exact level to within pennies after so much time? 2018, I believe this is 2024. I would say six years you come back to within pennies. Isn't that amazing? Well, one of the reasons is this is the two or three stocks. I believe I might be wrong. Um, uh, what is it? I think I wrote them down. Let me just try to find it here. Um, uh, MPC, I believe. MPC, Marathon something. Yeah, Marathon Petroleum Corporation, refine. Uh, look at this. Peak C, a leg C in the monthly chart. A peak C, as we're looking at it in the weekly chart. A peak C in the daily chart. Look at the spectacular run. So this is so different to many of the others. Look at this. This is an all-time high. MRO, which is Marathon Oil. Completely different chart. So you, you, with even within sectors, I was so surprised. I forgot about it, and then I said, "Wait a minute!" I saw it go by in the ticket. I said, "Wait a minute, crack isn't that crack spread or something like that?" I don't know. I, I might be wrong, but anyway, that's the ETF, and it's looking fantastic. Um, so even within sectors, you've got divergences. I want you to go through that. Hmm. 
I just did, but I'm writing this, uh, typing it wrong. There it is. Okay, that was one thing I wanted to do. Then a question came in. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. So uh, could, could you, where was it? Okay. Yes. Uh, could you look at the steel stocks? You mentioned it. You mentioned the steel stocks yesterday. Uh, could we go through that again? Now, look at this. This is SLX. Oh, look at that move to the upside. I was going to put it on my. I put it on my list this morning as one that we are watching to go long. It's still very early in the game. Look at that beautiful triple quadruple bottom right here, <clears throat> from January into February, how it keeps coming back and tests the 67 level. And here it is at 71, four points, it's not a big deal, but it's gone from this low here, it's gone peak A, I think it's by one peak, we get, as the break comes on, A, a 66.55, 66.55, yes. Peak A, peak B, leg C. Very nice, I like this. This is the Van Eck Vector Steel ETF. I'll be right back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at DFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. 
for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. So just real quick, I think, I'm not sure if, maybe it was Jim, but yeah, the SRX for you, because of what you look at, I'm going to say start a small position at SLX. We'll follow it up next week uh, uh, when we get back on Tuesday. Then a question came in, could I look at MOS? MOS is uh, Mosaic, the Mosaic company. Um, yeah, I think it's good. This is uh, this is potash. What does it do again, if I remember correctly? Yeah, phosphates, potash, crop nutrients. If you, I, I, I'm not making this as a recommendation. I'm just saying I've been looking at these. And I, just as a chart formation, I prefer BG, which is bungee. Uh, bungee, uh, agribusiness, I think it is. It's just a slightly better chart, and 120-minute chart just got a nice kickoff. They kind of, I wouldn't say, in the same area. Then the question came in, is gold about to take off? And all I can say is that I just don't see it. I can see a bounce. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't bounce, but I just don't see a takeoff at this point. I still see the dollar is holding very nicely. It can give back gains and all that, but it's holding above the 200 period moving. Hey, have a wonderful long weekend, everybody. Um, and stay tuned. We've got great programming here. Steve comes up next. Check out my open call, my daily news. And oh, DKNG. DKNG, yes, earnings came out. It's still holding really well. We're long from lower.